What's the right move here? <laughs> I don't even know what the right move is. We'll just sit our eight. Don't crit, don't crit, don't. Okay, he belly drum. Oh, it failed. Oh, yo. Fucking take that, bitch. <laughs> yo, calculated. 100,000%. No! Oh! <laughs> yo, no way. Oh, the fucking lucky ass crit, you son of a bitch. Today, I'm playing Pokemon Bun and Run with the big dogs, and we're gonna do this Nuzlocke style with a level cap. So, looking forward to it. And let's get right into it by setting our clock and doing all the BS that nobody likes to do. We are going to do this. I'm going to say it's midnight or something. I don't think hours affects anything. Or noon. That's noon, not midnight. Yo, Kamikaze JVR, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. No way, we need... No, yeah, we go up. We gotta pick our starter right now. Um, uh, oh no, we go back to the Professor Lab, that's right. Nope, we don't go there either. We're actually gonna go over here. That's right. Then we go up to the room with this Pokeball on the ground. Thank you so much for liking the stream and thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Oh, we never checked our... We're going to go check our PC real quick and see if there's anything in there. Oh, no items, okay. We will get the potion when we get past this first trainer. Okay, so I thought about it, and I think we're going to go with Turtwig. Because Turtwig has no crits against it because of its ability. And then I also uh, did a little research, and Turtwig is supposed to be one of the best ones to grab at the beginning. I think he's just kind of sucky, like, in the first four gyms. But then after the fourth gym, or the third gym or something like that, he, like, turns up super hard. So. Oh, this will be an easy fight, actually. The zigzagoons, though, is so cute. I love the new zigzagoon design. It's like so good. Nice. Yeah, let's give him a nickname. <laughs> we'll actually name him Doggy. We're gonna name him Dog. So if I can't click the A button. Go. D-O-G-G-Y. 
There we go. We got doggy. Let me pull up something real quick in the background. Bottom and run level tap. There we go. I'm gonna have this pulled up on one of my other screens. So the first level cap is 21. So we've got a little bit, a little bit to go before that first gym leader, but that's gonna be our level cap is 2121. And I believe we get to catch our first Pokemon right now, too. Oh, or we can just skip right through. We can do that as well. Oh, we definitely want this, so. Yeah, we want this potion. Oh, and there's grass here, too. I have to remember... Oh, there we go. Bag. Do we have Pokeballs? Do we just, like, get going? We don't. Okay. Cool. Oh, what? Yo, there's, like, a bike path there, too. I've never seen that before. That's super sick. All right, before we do this, let me double check the level cap on the first fight. That way we don't like ruin this experience. Um, Let's see, routes, Nuzlocke. So level five, so we are at the level cap, I believe, for the first fight. So we should be, here, we're gonna save Scrum. Bam, there we go. Just in case I hate myself after this. Uh. <laughs> Should be a torching, right? Yeah, they do like the opposite. They like flip-flop them. Oh, he has Ember. Oh, we already lost. Okay, we're gonna load. We're gonna reload. I think that we might be able to go above level five. Let me like double look here. Four million bird level cap. First trainer. Nice. Um, let's see. So we're going to need the level cap for the first guy. Hold on. Oh, there is a level cap of five. Oh, so it's just like really fucking impossible. Okay. Noted. So we basically have to get lucky and hope that it doesn't use Ember. That's kind of like where we're at. Or we can use Bite, but it'll outspeed for sure. Okay, let's just give it a shot. I think if we bite, we might get lucky there. Oh wait, we don't even need to win the first fight, do we? I think there there's something where like you don't need to win the first fight. And then after that, every trainer after this fight is like technically the, when the Nuzlocke starts. So I think we can lose here and then the, the Nuzlocke will start as soon as we we get past this trainer. So we'll let them kill us, and then we will start the Nuzlocke after we get Pokeballs. That's right. So we should be good now. Also oh, sends me back. Oh, it does, you motherfucker. 
Okay, so we just gotta keep... Gotta keep trying. We gotta hope it just keeps using Growl over and over again. Oh my god, no way. Okay, hold on. We're gonna reload. We might be able to get Pokeballs. Hold up. We need to see if we can catch anything before this fight. We go see. Hold on. We're going back a little bit. <laughs> so we can buy anything. That's like what I want to do. Buy down it. Just potions, antidotes. Okay. So we can't get Pokeballs. There's no point in grinding either though, because like we have endless candy, so why the hell would you do that? Okay, so I guess we're just gonna have to deal with it. Damn, I almost feel like Piplup may have been a better pick. Because their Turtwig would have been, like, super easy to get past. Mm. Okay, Growl. That's good. Okay, good so far. Not good. Oh, she was a fucker. Okay, the time number four. Ah. You know, if he uses Ember right out the gate. We may as well just reload. I'm trying to look up the best strap for this fight. It seems like impossible right now. Hold up. We're gonna just reload. I'm not gonna reset every single time on the first rival fight, but it looks like I think there may be a level cap of 12 as opposed to what we originally thought. 
So we can level up our guy up to level 12, it looks like. Let's do level 11, actually. Cool. Also, I never checked out the IVs on this, too. Let me see. Add them in. Attack is super high. That's really good, actually. So attack's high, defense is high. He's really bad at special attack, which is totally cool. Because he learns, like, Razor Leaf. So the nature initially is like super solid. And the IVs on the attack and the defense are kind of crazy too. Okay. And the speed is so insane too. Okay, nice. Right there. What does Confide do? I already forgot. Let me see. Shares a secret with the foe, lowering special attack. Okay. It doesn't really matter because we're just going to wreck this dude right now, but it's good to know. So we have a lowering a special attack move. Okay, so now we can catch our first Pokemon. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be learning as I go too, so I appreciate you guys all being like patient so far. Because I have to like figure out what the level caps are and everything, so. <laughs> okay, cool. Grab our Pokeballs. And then I know that the encounters are a little like randomized on these maps or on these routes. Like they're not random, like they were pre-picked, but the Pokemon you find are like super weird. Like they don't naturally spawn there. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nice. Sweet. Oh, she gives running shoes. That should help a little bit, at least, I hope. Okay. Now our first encounter of the game. Oh, let me double check and make sure there's no encounter in the first city too. Because sometimes they... They do have a water encounter here, but you can't get fishing rods, I don't think, until a certain point in the game. So this will be our real first counter. Let's go right there. I feel good about this one. Zigzagoon. Okay. Ah, oh, that might not be that good later on, actually. <laughs> 
Oh well, we have to catch it, so that's what we're doing. Oh damn, they give you a lot of Pokeballs. It's really good. Two, three, bam. Okay, cool. It's not gonna be the greatest for us later on, but it's gonna have to do, so. Okay, and then we got another, oh, we have the city encounter as well. Let's just do it, yeah. There we go. Mm. Lidlio, and the dude, another normal type, okay. Under, okay, that's not bad. Let's grab our Litleo. The only thing I'm nervous about is like the first gym leader is fighting in this game. So like, and Litleo is part normal, which means fighting moves would be like really, really good against Litleo. <laughs> and then also Zigzagoon too. So we do not have that advantage either. Ah, oh, you mother... There we go. Dude just needs to stay in the Pokeball. Ooh, then we have another route up here, and then this will be pretty much it for us. So hopefully something horrible. Badu, oh, that's so good, actually. That's so good. I don't know when Badu evolves, though. I think it may be friendship naturally, but I don't know if they changed it to a level in this game. Yeah, I'll do it up. What level does Glad to evolve? Duh, happiness. Okay. Uh, run and bun. Let me see if it evolves. Uh, I just got my buddy to evolve to resilient level 13 with some steps required. So it does require you to um, do certain like steps and stuff like that. So. So we do have to build friendship. Okay, we're just gonna use absorb. I think we may be too strong to hit it. And you keep a one that's all that top of reality. You have not seen me in that shit. You see the come. You son of a Okay, we'll throw out Litleo. Trek, you sent me this time, but excuse me, I can't help myself, I'm just laughing. but hey, you try to go out of my mind, I ask you politely, what's the interest you are on you? Know, I swear there was some little old bees that I have no intention of something about the posture, you know, bring the pen, pen, you hit the major for what's spinning, and I'm passing what he's into with you. Hopefully this does like two damage, maybe three at most. Oh god, that's good. Uh, tackle. Oh, are you serious, dude? Poison point's really good for us, but damn, man. This is like impossible to catch. We're already gonna have to switch. Get it. Get it out we have best. I thought get it out we have best. No, 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 no. Okay. Get back in it. Look, I ain't saying that I'm rich. Just from on his side, never bear. When I look at you. Okay, if we drop down to 15 Pokeballs and we saw him gone in, we'll probably just absorb and see if we grab it that like hopefully get one absorb off. Actually, wait, we just try it now. Now, we'll wait a little bit. We'll see if he heals up a little bit more. Like we'll wait for him to get to full HP. Oh, god damn. Okay, hold on. I ain't letting no one on my Zilla get in deep sea. Okay, I hope to god this doesn't kill. I think this is four times weak. Oh, okay, that did like nothing. That's good. Okay, good. Yeah, this buddy would be massive though. 
Also remind me, I've got to change text speed. So that way we don't do the slow ass like dialogue thing the whole time. I need to change that first thing as soon as I get out of the out of this battle. Yeah, we're just gonna keep chipping it down. Rap spending money in some really funny ways, but I promise you, my brother can pay. Yo, show a couple bands that can. It might like honestly get to the point where I see you struggle. It's a new word. Yo. Are we gonna stay if you win the business name and I can't see the thing again on one of you? Yo. Rap can the money in some really funny ways, but I should work. Yeah, I was twenty-five. Okay. Yeah. I think it's probably got like a dozen left before it uh it runs out of absorbs, so that'll be good. The business man, man, I call the sheep of can I get no bar. Yo. Here, I'm feeling lucky. Let's like throw a Pokeball at it. Let's see what happens. Two, three. Let's go. Okay. I was done fighting that dude. Okay, so we got four Pokemon, and we can use some rare candies right now, too. Oops, there we go. We definitely want to get uh, a couple of these guys. Oh, Rock Smash? That's not, that's not too bad. You learn Ember? Okay, that's good. Okay, so I think our real level cap is level 12 right now. So let's get everybody up a little bit. Eight solid, I think. When Snarl, ooh, that's so good. God damn. Oh, and we can have something else now too. It's, uh, let's look at Snarl real quick. Also, let's see what we got here. High speed, but the IV is low. Okay, that's not super great. That's pretty... Eh, that's not bad, actually. He just, like, is gonna die in one hit. That's like the only problem with him. Let's check out our Bud Do. Probably are the best one we've found so far. High special defense, low defense, okay. Special defense is really bad though. Damn, this is like flip flopped. This is really not, not good actually. That's okay though. Hey, what's up, Greedy? What's going on? Oh, we got a Pidgey? Okay. How you been? It's been a couple weeks. Nothing really, 
no epic camping trips, nothing, nothing crazy. Check. Cool. How's school been? Cause like spring break passed, huh? I totally forgot that that was like a thing. My brother also got um, school off for spring break. Or I think that's happening right now, actually. I think he's on break right now. Oh, you are on spring break. Gotcha. Yeah, I think everybody got... Everyone got this week off for spring break, I'm pretty sure. Oh, damn, he knows fly? That's actually, like, super solid. need to get the dogs. Hold on. One and one dog. Documentation. There we go. Two. Okay, so the first Pokemon this guy's gonna have is... <laughs> Actually, let me change the attack speed here, hold on. Fast, off, sure. Okay, cool. Nice, well hopefully you have a good spring break. Hopefully it's been going good so far. By quick attack, sand attack. There, we'll put him in the front. What do you usually do on spring break? So you just like kick your feet up and you just like chill out or do you usually make plans? Okay, Rock Smash. You gotta go make videos? Totally understandable. Awesome. Go make those vids. I will see you later, Greeny. Are you telling me to go nowhere or, oh, that's what you're gonna do over spring break. You're gonna make vids and go nowhere. I respect that. Dude, if I had spring break, that's probably what I would do too, honestly. Oh my gosh, this guy is so annoying. Are you serious? 
problem. Damn, Voodoo doesn't learn anything. It literally just knows Absorb and that's it. I forgot it's like hella weak until it evolves. Dude, this sand attack guy is super, super beast. What can I say? He's so much better than me. He's probably let Leo Ember chip him down. That target can play faster. What we bolster a bit for? One hit ball grab in for. Oh, that's good. All that all this race, really West Bergen. All my all this race, smear the short boys to all brave little turn blind. All my all this race, think that's fair. All one over three so much. Fuck your still terrifying. And to the death stirrup of there, but to the death stirrup that hurt. Three death stirrup over. Three by stirrup on her then. Or three by stirrup then. Well, it was nine. Badu's nine. What do they have for? So they got Skiddo. What does Skiddo say? I forget what a Skiddo even is. Skiddo. Oh, that's that goat guy. Okay. Do we have it? Oh, we have Lilio. Oh, and we have uh, Pidgey. Actually, that works. That's gonna be our next trainer here. <laughs> Work to L. Oh no, he is Grubbin. The fuck? Oh, Grubbin is the next Pokemon. Oh, that's actually such a bad one we're gonna throw out then. Um, he does Bug Bite, Spark, and Vice Grip. Bug Bite, Spark, and Vice Grip. I think this is the this guy. It's the right play. Hopefully, he doesn't use Spark. I think it'll be Bug Bite. Or no, he would use Spark, huh? Ah, oh, rip. This. Yes. Damn, that's even more savage. Nice. Why would he bug bite there? Okay, well, whatever. We'll take it. His next is going to be Pineco or Sizzlepeed. One of those two. Okay, Pineco, he knows Pin Missile and Iron Defense, and that's it. Okay, so we probably just Ember. Yeah, that's good. We're gonna have to switch here, though. Probably after one, we could take one more Pin Missile and then we could switch. Oh, he's sturdy. Okay, let me switch off onto Pidgey. And his last one is Sizzlipede, which is that fire type, the fire bug. What? Where that or I thought that orberry would have been used earlier. That's weird.
Nice. Okay, cool. And then Sizzlepeed is the last one. <laughs> Sizzlepeed has Orenberry, and then it has Bug Bite, Ember, Wrap. And it has Flash Fire. That's his ability. Gus is good, right? It's Bug Fire. Yeah, there we go. But it's got Orange Berry. Yeah, that'll kick in. Six. What does Flash Fire do? I think I'm gonna risk it. Okay, we should survive one more unless we get burnt. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Okay, we'll take that. Nice, thank God we had Lit Leo there to carry us through that little little effort. Okay, the next guy has Skiddo, Lit Leo, and Psyduck. So those will be the main ones we go up against. <laughs> and then there's one more trainer after that one. Oh yeah, we get orange berries here too. This is super helpful. We're gonna throw orange berries on like everything. There we go. So it starts with a Skiddo that knows Vine Whip Tackle Synthesis. So we're gonna go with um, probably, yeah, probably Lilio first. Yeah, let's save. Okay, cool. Thomas Emerson, what's going on, my guy? Um, this makes it the hardest because A, it's a Nuzlocke, so if we die, we have to throw him away. But this is like a fan-made game. So it's supposed to be like on crack. Like certain Pokemon have abilities that are just like natural to that Pokemon, but it's like they are, or some of the moves anyways are like earned later on and then they're like purposely, like the teams are set up to like kind of fuck you over. So it's a completely fan-made game of Pokemon Emerald. Um, but they added in like late gen Pokemon too, so they like really like get in the mix and make it like super built out and really difficult to, to kind of navigate. So that is what makes it the most difficult. It requires you to sorry i'm looking to see who i should switch to um it requires you to actually have like notes pulled up so that way you can actually like look ahead and see what people have and then there's going to be times where we're going to actually have to pull out a calculator we're going to have to do math and like figure out if uh if the move we're going to use is going to be good or the best option for us and also there's level capping as well so you can level up you can't like get too overpowered in certain like stints or sections either so there's like a lot that like really goes into it to make it like difficult. Um, the real first main level cap starts with um, the team grunt that's gonna come up here soon. And that's gonna be level 12 level cap. So we cannot exceed level 12. That's kind of like our main goal right now. So I'm trying not to get like, allow uh, what's his face to get higher than level 12. Uh, doggy. So that um, is basically the highest point we can go right there. We can still use him, but like if he gets to level 13, we can't use him for the next uh, next main boss fight. So we're gonna have to hold off on that guy. Ooh, damn, that did a lot. Damn, this guy's good as fuck. What the hell? Yo, that's, like, not okay. Um. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to throw him in, so.
Uh. So hopefully this doesn't like... Oh, see, like, he stops leveling up. So I can keep using him. But the level cap is 12. So, like, hypothetically speaking, you'd I probably actually want to have everybody at level 12. Like, I just haven't been keeping up and, like, rare candying all of them. So, like, it literally won't allow you to level up once you get to level 12. They, like, turn the, uh, the EXP meter off. So it's literally impossible for you to cheat. So, like, whoever made this is, like, um, like a super genius. They, like, went through the code and they, like, rearranged it and did all that, so... So fortunately, we can still use everything. We just physically, it's not possible. It's gonna be higher. Mm. Okay. Um, so we need to probably then, if that's the case, we're gonna level up everyone up to 12. Just cap everybody. Well, there we go. Baby doll eyes. I'm trying to remember what that does. Lowers the foe's attack before it can move. Um, that's actually pretty, pretty good. Uh, we want. I think we want rock smash. <laughs> Let me look ahead and see what we're gonna go up against. We got some Krabbies, we got some water types, we got some normal types, we got some dark types. Okay, we probably want to keep Snarl. I think we we'll probably get you Road Tackle, it's fine. Awesome, cool. So we're set up for the next couple trainers. This the next guy has Swirlix and Spinda. So it's got a fairy type and then a normal type. So fairy type, we're gonna throw Litleo in. No, wait, Budu is really good here. Swirlix knows fairy wind metronome. Okay. Yeah, this is it, cool. So Sludge is going to be pretty iconic here. Look at my change. Pick up the case. He put the gift in the world. That's why we stay in pain. They win in late. We move on to the next. Can you focus the pain? Before the pain. We draw the line in the sand. We say it's like to your face. We pay on the ring. We put the team on our back. We took the pain in the stick. Home claws. Okay, that's not bad. Um, and then the next... Pokemon is Spinda has Fake Out and Metronome. So it's literally just a luck based Pokemon. So it could totally screw us over actually, depending on like, like what move it actually gets. So. We clip on the but he wants to mutate. Let's absorb. I don't want to take any chances because if it gets a fire type move, that's actually so not good for us. Oh my god. No way. It just got Fire Blast. Yo, that's insane, actually. Um, okay, we're gonna throw Turtwig out just to be safe. I, dude, I literally said, I hope it doesn't get a Fire move, and it got, like, the second most powerful Fire move in the entire game. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Sheer Cold. No way. Dude. <laughs> what is this Spinda, dude? If this Spinda wipes any of my Pokemon, I'm gonna get so pissed. Damn, dude. This guy has, like, the best moves in the arsenal. It's, like, total... I don't know if Metronome's supposed to be, like, not totally randomized in his game type. But, like, dude. It is, like, whooping my ass right now. Like, it's borderline whooping my ass. We're getting lucky in some cases. Oh god. Okay, that's not bad. I'm 
Oh yeah, this should do it. Oh, one more. Okay, just don't get sheer cold again. Okay, not bad. Nice. Okay, cool. We made it. Cool. <laughs> Damn, that was sketchy. Look, they took the great feet. We took them. Oh, item down here. What is that? Potion? Okay, good. We could actually use that probably. All right, so we made it through that route. Let's heal up and let's just keep going. Dude, we got a Pidgey on that route. That was so damn good. Okay, on to the next. Hopefully they take out that part where, don't tell me that we have to do that. Uh, we got to do the whole Ralts BS stuff, okay. They can add level capping, but they can't take out the the biggest disappointment of my life, which is him catching Ralts and me just being sad because we don't get one. Okay, my man's Wally is gonna go get I wonder if it changes. It's probably the same. Like if it changes depending on what Pokemon are on this route. Or if he like always encounters a Ralts. I'm pretty sure it'll always be a Ralts though. So. Yeah, okay. Like how epic would that be though if his first Pokemon was like a Pidgey or something? That'd be sick. He's gonna do his thing. It's hurried up. You need you to be able to shoot. No, I don't shoot. Maybe we'll sit provided. Okay. Okay, cool. Now we can skip over this part. Get back to catching Pokemons. Okay, cool. Now we get access to this next area. Ugh, after this dude talks. I forgot how much dialogue there is in this game. Like, it's definitely not as much as, like, black and white, but... There's there do be dialogue though. Okay, let's catch something. Prayers up, hopefully something good. What's this guy? He's blip bug. What's his typing again? He's like obviously he's bug, but like what's his other typing? Blip bug type. He's just bug. Okay, and he evolves at level 10. Okay, or he's supposed to. I don't know if it's the same in this game. Oh, okay, a crit. Holy shit. Okay. There we go. Get the Pokeballs. Nice, let's go, baby.
Okay, I think Blitbug, so Blitbug's normal level to evolve is 10, I believe. So we just got to get him up a few levels here. Oops, uh, nope. Let's do Endless Candy, Blitbug. Beautiful. Okay, cool. So we got a dollar. Oh, hopefully I learned some good moves. It seems like it's pretty bad so far, but I think the bug typing will be like good for uh, the first fighting gym. So you tore a muscle, bruh. What kind of? Well, first of all, hopefully you're okay, but. Was it like a grade one tear? Like how bad was it? That's insane though. How, how did you, was it like, were you doing like bench press and then you're like your wrist came back or like what ended up happening there? Dude, that is such a bummer. God damn. Okay, let's check out some of the EVs and the IVs. Ups, bugs, moves, bug moves. Okay. <laughs> Speed is our highest, which is not where we what we want, but that's okay. Those are the IVs. So we got EVs and IVs. Or these are the IVs, sorry. These are the stats. So we got the highest IVs on the one stat we didn't want that on. So that's fantastic. And then... I don't think we looked at... No, we did like a Pidgey, actually. God damn. That's like savage, though. Like, seriously. Hopefully, you, like, you're okay. <coughs> okay, so the next Pokemon we're going to go up against is Krabby. So it's Aqua Jet, Stomp, Mud Shot. So Bud is probably going to be our main guy here. This is when things are actually getting difficult, so I'm going to have to, like... Or we're actually together gonna have to figure this shit out. Uh, okay, so he's got a Krabby. Bind, Rock Smash, Acrobatics. Oh god. Okay. That's not fun. Okay, so they have a Yanma as well. I almost feel like we should use him. No, we're gonna just start out with Doggy, actually. And let's throw some Warren Berries on these guys, and let's let's do it. Uh, give me Warren Berries. There we go. Uh, bam! Right there. Yanma's gonna be a pain in my ass, though. The dude has um his last. So the next trainer has. Krabby, Clobopus, and Yanma. But the Yanma has acrobatics. So it's like a flying type focused Yanma. And it has Sonic Boo, which is also really fucking annoying because it does 20 guaranteed damage every single time. I feel like maybe um, Pidgey or Lidlio, one of those two is going to be really good. But the minute we hit below 20, like this is going to be really sketchy, but the minute we hit below 20 we, on Yanma, we got to switch. There's no point in saving since we're nuzlocking, but just in case. Uh, okay, I say we just do it. This is gonna be a real first test, I think. <laughs> Good job. Start with Absorb. I think he has an orange berry. Yeah, so he's got an orange berry. We'll absorb the last little bit. <laughs> I'm scared to leave him in against the Yanma because he's going to put Yanma out right now, I think. Yeah, okay.
I'm scared to leave him in. Like, this is sketching me out a little bit. Um, he's definitely going to outspeed. He's going to outspeed, and then we're going to have to switch out on him. <laughs> so he acrobatics here 100%. So he uses acrobatics, and then he also has Sonic Boom. So I think if we... Acrobatics will do a shit ton of damage. I don't even know if it's worth risking. Let's say we bite. Okay, so he's Sonic Boom, so we definitely have to switch no matter what. Oh, wait. Oh, he's Speed Boost. Are you serious? Okay, I think we can leave him out for one more hit. Yeah, okay, good. So we have one HP. We bite. He has a speed boost. We're gonna switch on to... Cause so he's gonna Sonic Boom. So we need the highest HP of Pidgey and Litleo. So we're gonna do Litleo. <laughs> he's gonna Sonic Boom. Okay, cool. No, we acrobatics. Oh, okay, that's fine. So he's definitely Sonic Booby though on the next one. And we're gonna Ember. And we're gonna destroy it right now. Okay, so eat the berry. Nice. And then we Ember. Okay, so now that's done. And then he's gonna summon out Clobbafoot that knows Rock Smash, Bind, and Detect. And I think if we put out Budu, that should do it. Let me double check his typing real quick. Clobopus. Clobopus side. He is fighting water. Okay. So if we switch to Bud Dew, that should be solid. Okay. Lowers defense. That's fine. Oh, we poisoned him. Let's go. Okay, that's really good for us. Nice. Okay, so he does six damage. That's not super good. For him, I mean. I believe that's really good for us. We just gotta keep track of how much damage this dude keeps doing. So he has us in a bind. Ah, nice, let's go. Okay, we got this. That's easy. Nice, okay, cool. <laughs> so, we got past our first true test with a Yanma. Okay. Okay, let's go back and heal, and then we'll look at the next trainer and see what he has. We can give you a snapshot real quick. Oh wait, no, this is the dude with the insane magic arbs. He has like in a magic arb that knows like hydro pump or something like that. <laughs> so the first one knows bounce with a choice fan, so that's like a bounce that's gonna do like a ton of damage. Um, who's that? Which one? Which guy is that? It's this one up here. Okay, so he's got... Let me make sure we put out the right book one. So he's got um, two Magic Harps. The first one is a Choice Band Bounce Magic Harp. Adam and Nature, so it's going to do a lot of damage. And then the second one is a Focus Sash Hydro Pump Tackle Flail. That second one is really easy. I think we could just throw in Turtwig. Or Vudu even, that's fine. But we can't use them against the first Magic Harp. That's going to be not good, so... We need something that's decent against Bounce, which is a flying type move. Uh, or at least can take a few hits. He just headbutt. I say we throw Litleo in first, and then we're gonna switch onto a grass type Pokemon. Cause this first Magic is gonna be kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah, let's do that. And we're just going to headbutt, and hopefully that does enough damage on the first Magikarp. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
Okay, so he should outspeed me though too. Magikarp's really fast. Okay. God, I hope this doesn't like fucking KO. That'd be so whack. Okay, it only does 10. Okay. He does more than we do. <laughs> if we need to, we can switch out also. We don't need to keep Lilio in. I'll throw in a Pidgey probably. Because it doesn't have stab or anything. All oh, crit. Let's go, boy. Yo, huge. Okay. Even if this crits, yeah, we're good. Oh no, if that would have crit, we would have died actually. <laughs> yeah, that was actually kind of risky, but that's okay. Okay, so this guy knows um, Hydro Pump. He knows Hydro Pump tackle Flail, so we need to throw in. Let's let's just get Turtwig in there. <laughs> Because he has, like, uh, no... His ability makes it so he cannot get crit, no matter what. So that should make it so we're safe, and we can safely get through this fight. Okay. So, as you can tell, the trainers are getting much harder, though. Because the first couple were like, oh, you can just breeze through them. Not this guy. You gotta be a little bit more strategic. Especially the, the grunt that's coming up has, like, an execute. Like, it's kind of insane. Uh, okay, but we're gonna go back and heal. And then the next guy has a bunch of normal types. I forget, is Jigglypuff normal or is it just, is it fairy? I forget if it's fairy in this gen or if it's, or the newest gen or if it's considered a normal type. There's a lot that switched that I just didn't keep up with in terms of like whether it was normal or fairy and that was one of them. I'll probably look it up before we do the fight if no one answers. Uh, okay, so the next person's gonna be right up here. Will you give me free shit? Good. Give me free shit. Dude, this Zigzagoon model is so cute, though. Okay, so the next trainer is... Not this chick, okay. Uh, okay. This woman right here. Oh, and we get more orange berries. Okay, great. Awesome. So we're gonna throw orange berries on. And like I said, this next chick leads with um, Min Mincino, which is a normal type, and it has Swift, Attract, Thunder Wave. So I think Zigzagoon's actually fine. Zigzagoon is probably like one of our worst Pokemon, but I'm gonna like throw this guy in the front, make him actually do something with his life and like help the team because he's been like low key dragging us down. Uh, boom, throw that on. Let's load up everyone with the orange berries, and let me just look up if Jigglypuff is uh, a normal or if it's considered fairy. Like I said, that's the only thing that's giving me like bad vibes right now. Um, oh, and the last Pokemon he has is Fan P, or she has. So like, um, we should have uh, Turtwig for that. Jigglypuff uh, type. Okay, so Jiggly is considered dual typing normal fairy. Uh, so Bud do actually fine and surely buff because it knows sludge. Okay, so that's probably the strat. Bud do out for Jigglypuff, but they start with Mincino first, and it's only attacking move is Swift, so that should be good. And attract always hits in this game, no matter what gender it is, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're gonna we're nuzlocking, but I'm still gonna save to make myself feel better about myself because <laughs> I hate. The feeling of a Pokemon dying. And let's do it. So we're gonna start with a uh, Rock Smash. If we gotta switch, we gotta switch. Hello. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Level 10 is insane. Okay, so I have Swift, so it doesn't even matter if we sand attack. So let's just Rock Smash. Please hit. Yes, let's go. Defense lowered. Perfect. Okay. Attract, that's really fucking annoying, but we'll deal with it. It's all luck now. We, we gotta get lucky if we hit this guy. That does 12 damage. It could crit. I don't think it will. 
Oh, thank God. Nice, let's go. Okay, there's another one. Okay, we're gonna, um... Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, we're just gonna switch, actually. Fuck that. I don't want him to get a crit on us at all. Um, so as a track, it's gonna use Swift right now. Let me look and see. His special defense is really high. He's actually a good Pokemon. I didn't realize this still right now. He's actually really good to like use as kind of like that tanky, tanky roll. So we're gonna do that. Swift, it should do like nothing. Let's go. Okay, it's gonna get off. Struggle Bug's the best move we got here. Okay, hit, 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 hit. Yes. It's a crit. Oh, that's really good, actually. We should be able to keep him out for a quick minute now. You motherfucker. Okay, it's doing less and less damage, which is good. Oh, crit. No way. Please just don't get immobilized by love. I hate you, Dotler. Yeah, Attract in every other game instantly works for any against me, but Attract when I use on an opponent, it like never works. I'm like, okay. That, yeah, that's that's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, we were gonna... Who else do they have again? So they've got... Uh... Lincino, Jigglypuff, Fanpy. Yeah, okay. Lilio's fine here. Okay. I should have threw him out, actually, for the berry. That would have been smarter. Uh, Ember. Perfect. Okay, cool. So they're going to throw out the NP next. So I'm going to switch on to... Uh, it also does attract, which is really not fun. Um, we're gonna throw on... Uh, Turtwig, probably. Oh, is there a Jigglypuff? No way. Okay, so Jigglypuff knows round, draining kiss, attract, and thunder waves. So this is also one of those, like, really annoying Pokemon that we're gonna have to deal with. Um, so Jigglypuff, and we were saving Budu for that. So let's, like... Start with an ember. That's okay. Oh god. This actually is not good. I think round's normal type. Don't use round again. Okay. Okay, we just can't get paralyzed here. Don't get hit by paralysis, please. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, so Jigglypuff's down. That was probably the scariest Pokemon that they had. And then the last one's Fanby. And we should be okay. Because I think it's just a track and a uh, stomp. He's got the big stomp. Uh, we'll go Dongi. He knows stomp and attract. Yeah. Okay. And it has Q Charm too. So I guess it doesn't matter if we get attracted, if it has Q Charm or not. But still. Oh, Flinch. Are you serious? Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. How? How does this man do that, man? Seriously. Okay, there. Okay, we hit him. <laughs> we're, we're starting to make progress. We can hit him. <laughs> Don't flinch. You motherfucker. What kind of luck is this, man? Oh, God. Dipper's going off. Throw cat emojis in the chat if you got them. Okay. We have another chance to get an absorb off. I did eight damage. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, so if we just throw out Pidgey, I think we're good. It'll stomp us, but I think we'll outspeed next turn. Okay, cool. And then we'll, we'll, we'll gust it. Beautiful. 
Awesome. Sweet. Okay, cool. That worked out. We'll take it. Does she give you anything? Or is she just going to tell me how to grow berries? Yeah, no. Oh. Oh, she does give you stuff. Awesome. Do you give me free stuff? No. Okay. You can go away then. I am just here for the free shit. Okay, so the next trainer, I believe, is the mini boss. The Team Aqua Run. Yeah, okay. It's got Carvana, Krogunk, and Execute. So, we have what we need to beat. Oh, and we can catch something, I think, before the Grunt. No, the Grunt fight is when you go into the forest, he appears. So, we gotta, like, make sure we know what we, we want to use before we try entering the forest right now. So, let's, uh, take a look real quick. So, he starts with Carvana. Starts with Carvana, so Dark Water. And then Krogan and Execute. So we don't really... We could probably lead with uh, Turt, Turtwig. As soon as we throw a berry on that guy. And everybody else, really. Let me do that while we're thinking out loud. Um, so we need to throw berries on everybody. Um, so right there. And then his next after Carvana is Krogunk. And we're probably going to use uh, Doppler. Doppler's probably going to be our saving grace here. And then Execute, we're going to be using uh, Lilio. Wait, let me see. Execute has Confusion, Bullet Seed, Leech Seed, Stun Spore. Okay, so that'll be... Uh, that'll be annoying to deal with, but we can we can definitely deal with it. So, Because if we if Lilio fails us, we can always throw in uh, Zigzagoon. Yeah, we can always throw in Zigzagoon. So, we're leading with... We're gonna leave with Doggy. Let's do it. So this is the main guy that we gotta watch out for. This is gonna be the tough fight. What the huh? Come on, us first. He's got Bite, Water Pulse, Aqua Jet, Poison Fang. Poison Fang's actually gonna be kind of annoying. Yeah, so he's leading with Poison Fang. That does a lot, actually. So that's okay. We sh we will win this fight. Because we have an orange berry as well. So poison thing, don't crit. Okay. Oh wait, we he can't crit against us. That's right. Oh, take him out, man. Okay, so we just need the absorb to hit and he needs to not crit. Okay. Oh he can't crit. I mean, sorry. Okay, so we killed him. Next up. It depends on what they're going to choose to send out the AI. So let's see. Next up, they have Krogunk. Krogunk's going to lead with a poison type move. So he's going to lead with... He's a Salsic Berry. He's got Fake Out, Belch. Okay, so they'll probably Fake Out, actually. Because that's like a guarantee hit. So we need to make sure we switch on the right thing here. So Doppler is still, I think, our best. Yeah. Yeah, Doppler's good here. Shift. Okay, cool. Dude, Doppler's actually so beast. What the hell? How is he so good? Okay, so he got his guarantee fake out. Um, we're going to confuse Shen. Okay, as he's going for a poison. He's desperate. Out them that out them that out them that out them that out the sheets. Okay, good. Nice. Oh. oh, that was actually like really fucking close. Okay. That goes down, and then the last one is execute. Let's see. Execute has confusion, bullet seed, leech seed, stun spore. So I'm guessing it's going to lead with Leech Seed. I really hope it doesn't lead with Stun Spore, actually. That'd be super fucking annoying. Um, Confusion's good against Budu. We got to go Lit Leo, I think. Okay. I don't know what I'm hoping for. 
Because <laughs> all of them are pretty bad to deal with. Okay. That did not do a lot. That's good. Ember. He can't use his berry. Because I have unnerve. Shit. That'll help him survive another round, though. Ember. He still can't use his orange berry. It's huge for him, actually. Shit. Okay, so if I don't get paralyzed here, we win. Come on, don't get paralyzed. Okay, thank God. Okay. Oh, thank God. That's normally like a really tough fight. So we got past that. Next level cap is gonna be 21, I believe. <laughs> well, let's first go heal. Yeah, okay, let's go heal, and then we can catch something in the forest now. Okay, gotta get the heals going. I'm gonna grab uh, some Pokeballs too, I think. The boy is going off. Oof. Okay, let's see if we can buy Pokeballs. We can. We'll just buy eight. That's fine. Okay, so now we can catch our next guy that's going to be in the forest. <laughs> Yo, Dodler, I'm just going to say it again. This dude is, like, super good for switching on. Because, like, you can basically guarantee he'll be a defensive tank. Uh, oh, we need to go to the house. Um, so he's, like, really, really solid. Oh, wait, we don't get to go in the forest, huh? We get to go on the boat. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we get to skip the forest. Or do we... No, no, no. We do deliver the letter. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Okay, we are going to do her. Sorry, this is my first time playing this, like, literally. <laughs> nice. Okay, so there is a patch of grass here. And then if I remember right... Dude, they changed his dialogue. That's actually super funny. Okay, so this is considered a new route over here. So if we can get, like, some sort of rod or something like that, then we can fish over there. I don't remember if you can even get the rod in this city. I don't think you can. We do get a silk scarf, though, which is good for Litleo. Okay. So let's go... Let's, let's encounter our grass patch right here. Let's see what we can get. Let's see. What do we get? Mianfu. Okay, Mianfu's like kind of bad, I think. Going into this gym fight, at least, he's like pretty bad. Um, well, we have to catch it, so that's fine. Let's just grab it. I don't think it's going to be one of our mains, so. Doffler will for sure be a main. This guy is like really, really good. Rock smash? Okay. If I crit it, I don't really give a fuck. We're just gonna bite and get in the red. Okay, there we go. That was way too close, but you know how we do that. You know how we do. Okay, I'm gonna switch onto something that he can't hurt, and then we're gonna go for it. <laughs> I don't want this random Pokemon knocking out my Turtwig or something. That'd be so shitty. Dude, the cat is going off, boys. Can you hear that? He's going to ham. Okay, let's see. Two, three, bam. Okay, cool. So, let's see. So our next trainer fight is gonna be against a fisherman who has Staryu and a couple other guys. Let me um, heal up first and then we're gonna get to our level cap as well.
So this is when the shit gets like real. Like things are actually gonna like turn up very aggressively. Oh, okay, so let's first level cap everything. I think, like I said, I think it's 21. So at least her two will evolve. And he learns Razor Leaf, which is very good. Uh, what do we want to forget? Um, and I kind of want to forget. Is Confide like too good to forget? Let me look ahead and see who the gym leader has. Because I have a strat I want to run. Hold on. Who? I think our next level cap is literally 21. I think we're going to get rid of Confide, potentially. Dude, this is really hard, actually. I don't know what to pick. Um, Absorb is so good. Fuck. I think Confide is the one we're going to get rid of. I think we can relearn moves with hard skills and stuff, so I don't think it's the biggest deal. But we definitely want to keep Growl for the gym leader, I think. Okay. We're going to get him to evolve. That's good. Okay, cool. Sand two. Oh wait, that's actually pretty pretty good actually. How much does he do? 35 and it's physical. Oh, that is fire. Yo, that is so good. Um Do we really need bite? I don't think we actually need bite. Because like T I think we don't need bite. I'm just gonna get rid of bite. Screw it. Whatever. I'm so adamant on keeping Growl because like this next gym leader is uh, the fighting one and I want to like do a setup thing with uh, Dotler and Growl and Sand Attack and stuff. Okay, let's get everyone to 16 for now. Hold on. Oh, Air Cutter. Oh, so good. Okay. So we're gonna get Pidgeotto <laughs> with Air Cutter. That's actually really fucking fire for Brawly. Cause like all of his Pokemon are fighting. We'll probably only get like two uses out of them though, for being honest here. Okay. Pidgeotto evolved. Got that over with. Sorry, I'm looking at my Nuzlocke tracker. Yeah, so our level cap's 21. So we gotta get these guys up to level 21. Noble Roar. This is not normally what he learns at this level. Let's see. It's a normal type move, okay. Intimidates the foe to cut attack and special attack. I think getting rid of tackle still, yeah. Cause we have headbutt, so why even have tackle? Like honestly, headbutt's literally just tackle, but like better. Okay, 15, 16. I'm just starting at level 16, but we're gonna get them all to level 21. <laughs> headbutt, uh, he's no part normal. Keeping Sand Attack is big. I No, we want to... 
Oh, shit. Well, I guess we're not learning headbutt. <laughs> God damn it. I was actually going to get rid of baby doll eyes, but whatever. I think having these moves that lowers attacks and stuff like that is going to be bigger in the grand scheme of things. Oh, let's go, Budu. Nice. We definitely want Roselia here. So this is fire. This is very, very good. Break from the the ground, of the ground, of the ground. Break from the the ground. Check it. Long bag. Good round. Break. Check. Nice. So we got Roselia. Okay, let's keep going. We gotta get everyone to twenty-one. Oh, level seventeen. I guess that's the gap. Poison powder, not bad. Pen missile? Ew. Pen missile's kind of like not good. Uh, Sharp 25. It's physical. I guess that is like not that bad. Let's just get rid of baby doll eyes, I think. So, my strat for this next gym, just to kind of fill you in, is I'm thinking about just straight sacking our Zigzagoon. Because I don't really see a need to have him after this gym, really. So I'm thinking about straight sacking the Zigzagoon by sand attacking as much as I can to get the accuracy as low as possible. And then I'm going to, like, set up with somebody. I'm going to... Uh, that's the attempt, is I'm going to attempt to set up with somebody. Let's get rid of... I guess we get rid of Ember. Um, wait, come back around the deathly bar. Oops, uh, Pidgeotto. We also do have a couple more encounters as well. Yeah, so. Let's get rid of Tackle. Tackle's still pretty useless, right? Yeah, it's pretty useless. So I think I'm going to sack the, the Zigzagoon as much as I can with Sand Attack. Then I'm going to throw Pidgeotto in, Sand Attack, and I'm going to try and set up that way if I can with anyone. I need to figure out if there's a move or I can learn to increase my stats. Uh, What is this? Okay, let me in. Let's see what's in here. Bam. Boop from the underground, Jay. The ground. Pop the head to it. from the ground, Jay. Ground. Wait from the ground, underground, the wrong state from the ground, check it from the bad, the down. Wait from the underground, check it, the ground part. It's wait from the ground, we'll check it. Okay. I don't know what the hell this room is even for. Okay. This is just boring dialogue. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> So, this guy has the star you and all that going on. Yeah, he's got a star you. And then a lombre and an aracuda. I think we could just start with with grottle. I think that's not that not bad. We may even want to hit KO these guys. I think, I mean, obviously that's the goal, but. Oof. Oh. Okay, so we do one hit kill. He's got a Lombre and an Aracuda with Peck. Okay. Hopefully he puts out the Aracuda. No, hopefully he doesn't. Okay, good. Uh, so Lombre, he's got Giga Drain, Bubble Beam, Seismic Toss, Teeter Dance. So I expect him to Teeter Dance. Let's absorb. Oh okay, yeah, not bad. Oof, that is horrible actually. Um. Okay, this is actually not ideal. So he's gonna seismic toss for 17 damage. I think I underestimated this dude. Okay. Uh, uh, 
assist. What do you have again? Your bug psychic. You have struggle bug. Actually, this might be the move. He has Giga Drain, Bubble Beam, Seismic Dots. Okay, I think Dotler is going to be our Switcheroo guy. Okay. Jeez. Of course you would do that. Don't hurt yourself, please. Nice. What's his item? He's got a, a Lumberry, okay. Oh, so if he gets confused, it'll unconfuse him. Don't eat yourself. Oh, God. Okay, we have to switch. We have no choice. This is fine. And now we air cutter. <laughs> so with Eric Tuda, Aqua Jet, Bide, Peck, Laser Bogus. Okay, I'm gonna feather dance the hell out of this dude. Because Peck's gonna be good, but if we just feather dance him, he's pretty much gonna be useless after that. Yeah, feather dance twice, I think. Nice, there we go. Yeah, he's like useless now. Sight. Wait, one more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this dude's gonna have like nothing. Okay, he does like three damage. All right, that should be GG. I'm gonna switch just in case he does some bullshit. Okay, let's go. Uh, what does he have? He has a uh, Aqua Jet by Pack Laser Focus. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> okay. Let's try Pin Missile. I haven't really gotten to use it yet. Okay, nothing like super fancy. That's not horrible. Okay. Pin Missile's not like the worst move we've ever picked up, but it's all luck too, so that's not as ideal, but that's okay. Okay, so now we go heal. The next trainer is another fisherman dude. <laughs> Let's see. Next trainer is gonna be oh a ruined maniac actually. He's got Dwebble, Sandagast, Mawile, and Munchlax. And I remember this Munchlax is like a menace. Like this dude is like insane. Got a hard skill. Okay, good. I think there's an item over here too. Let's go. I actually wait. No, there isn't. Oh, there is. Oh, let's go. Okay. It's not the worst. We'll take it. Okay, so he starts with Dwebble. Dwebble's Rock Bug. So water is good. What else is good? Ground, I think, might be fine. Yeah, let me see. Dwebble type weakness says. It's going to be Water, Steel, Rock. So those are going to be the moves we're going to stick with. Dwebble's first, and then he's going to have Sandigast, Mawile, Munchlax. We need Litleo from Mawile. Uh, we're going to need to take this Munchlax out. He has Gluttony, and he has a Salic Berry. So he's basically gonna just going to speed boost every single time. Man, man, man. And he got Belly Drum, too. I forgot about that. Uh, so we're going to save Grottle for Sandy Gast. Save Lit Leo for Mawile. We're going to save... I say we throw out... Oh, he is Rock Blast. No shit. This Dwell is going to be kind of a... Pain in the ass, actually. Um, 
What do you have? Absorb Worry Seed. Worry Seed like changes his ability, right? You give me an Insomnia. Has weak armor. Okay, is knock off sticky web. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what the best strat here is for this dwebble. I think it may actually just be Grottle right out the gate. I think that's maybe what we're gonna do. Uh, and throw some berries on our guys. Actually, no, uh, Roselia is probably best. We're gonna put Roselia out first. Let's do Roselia first, and we're gonna save Brottle for uh, Sandagast. Yeah, that's smarter. Cool. All right, let's do this fight. Okay, so Dwebble's up first. My logic in using Roselia was that we could do a decent amount of damage with Absorb. He's gonna use Rock Blast. No, he's gonna try and use Bug Bite, I think. Let's Poison Powder. Nice. Oh, Sticky Web. Okay, so we're, we're gonna be slowed whenever we switch out. Ooh, that's a good move. Damn. Three, four, four times? No, no way. He's five times? Shit. Okay, so Absorb should take us all the way back up. Oh. Okay, just don't hit five times. Two, three, four. Oh. Insane. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. That was so close. Okay, so who's he got next? You did good. We're gonna get you the hell out of there. Next, we have Doggy. He's gonna use like a ground type move, I think. That's fine. Astonish? Okay, that's even finer. Whatever. Okay, that's good. Another Astonish. There's no point in absorbing here. Yeah, we can just raise the lead. Cool. <laughs> so that's down. <clears throat> okay, next is Mawile with Intimidate. Mawile has Covet, Metal Claw, Fire Fang. So it's gonna Fire Fang me for sure. We should live one Fire Fang at least. And we get Sand too. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the play, Sand too. Oh, we can live a couple Fire Fangs. Oh, it flinched. I want the sand too. Nah, give me the sand too. Fuck you, buddy. Oh man. He's gonna fire fang again. We have a Lilio, so it's not bad. Yeah, we switched Lilio. Okay. Fuck. Yo, that was close. That flinch was huge for the for uh, the Mawile. Does he have a berry? Um, he has leftovers. That's right. And then Munchlax has Salix berry. What I need to do is keep this guy out and incinerate the Salix berry like right away on the Munchlax. That'll be the main the main goal here. Because if we get the Salix berry off of Munchlax, that'll be so dope. Okay, so now we incinerate the Munchlax and get the Salad Berry off as soon as possible. He's gonna belly drum, but we don't give a shit. Incinerate. Come on. 
Yeah, I get the berry. Nice. Headbutt. Ooh, that's rough. We can do this, though. What's the right move here? <laughs> I don't even know what the right move is. Um, probably Lear or Incinerate. It's all those two. We'll just incinerate. Don't crit, don't crit, don't... Okay, he belly drum. Oh, it failed. Oh, yo. Fucking take that, bitch. <laughs> yo, calculated. 100,000%. No! Uh... <laughs> uh... Yo, no way. Oh, the fucking lucky ass crit, you son of a bitch. Oh. Yo. That's fucking whack. All right. Damn, okay, so we don't have Lilio anymore. We gotta throw him away as soon as this fight's over. That's actually a major blow though. We really needed him. Look that much lax, dude. Shit, okay. Do common L for sure. That's some bullshit I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Can't believe that shit happened. Dude, I'm so sad we gotta throw Lilio away. He's actually gonna be like a big component in our next uh, fight. Okay, well, we can always catch something else before the next gym leader. And we have Mianfu, who's kind of dog shit, but whatever. Shift. Okay, we'll throw him in the box of shame. Yes. Name. We're literally just gonna call it. Shame. This is where all the, the good people go. That die. The box of shame. Okay. Um, well, that sucks. Okay, well, let's um get Mianfu up so that way we at least have him at a high level. But like I said, this next gym leader, it definitely won't have us be using that Mianfu. He's like, not good enough. But just in case we need to like throw him in or something like that. Oh, think that's not bad. Okay. Okay, so instead of catching our next Pokemon in the cave, there's actually a Pokemon that shows up more often. That's really good. It's like a Helioptile, I think. If you have a Pokemon in your party that has the ability, uh, what's that one? The electric one? Oh, I need to get the letter to him. So we're purpose. So this is this is big brain strat time. Ready? So we're purposely not gonna run into any Pokemon in this cave. Big brain. Because there's a Pokemon in here we want to get, and it's gonna require us to have a Pokemon with a certain type of ability. It like pops up more often in the wild when you have a Pokemon with like the electric type ability. It's the one where you hit them and then that paralyzes them or some shit like that, so. I forget where that ability, oh. Oh, there's something down here. Uh, rock glass, oh, very good, okay. Yeah, let's just get this over with. Give me this. Never melt ice. We don't have any ice type moves yet. That could be big later. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's get this letter to the to my mans. Uh, and then we can now go to the next city and catch our next Pokemons. Let's see him 20 again. Oh, it's Rock Smash, right? No, that's not Rock Smash. It said it lowers evasion. I don't know what that is. We'll just look at it later. <laughs> oh no, it's Togedemaru. That's the Pokemon we want to get in this cave. That's right. Static Body is also the ability I could not remember before. Like that electric type ability, that's Static Body.
Uh, okay. Yes, take me to Slateport. Okay, if this guy has soft sand rate, one of these two has soft sand. There we go. So ground type moves are better. Um, all right, so. Oh, there's a fucking trainer in here. I didn't see that guy. Oh, this is like not good. We did not prep for that. What's the type again? Psychic ice. We're gonna just sledge. Okay. Good. Oh, we don't have Litleo anymore. Oh, I was gonna switch on to Litleo. Uh. Yeah, I guess we can be in Fu it. This guy's so bad. Oh my god. I kind of hope this guy dies, Loki. Damn, Switcher was like good as fuck. What the hell? <laughs> okay, no more ice types, please. A Magby, okay. That's, that's not who I want to go against though either. Um, okay, Pidgeotto is probably the the one. Yeah, we'll go Pidgeotto. Oh, he has an Elekid as his last one. How much damage is that? It's 21, right? So he's going to kind of wreck our, wreck our shit here. Uh, pretty much everybody I have left is going to die if it gets hit by this move. Um, it's too... I doubt that this does anything. <laughs> oh, he could live. Okay. Oh. God. Do you mean? Confuse Ray. I don't know why he just wouldn't incinerate. So Alakid's last. He hasn't very that's pretty good. Okay, don't hit yourself, you motherfucker. Nice. Okay, cool. Don't hit yourself, don't hit it. Okay, so he's gonna fire punch or ice punch. I don't know which one to predict. I think Dotler could take one hit though. Oh, he could take multiple hits. Oh, this guy's a straight Chad. What the hell? Okay, we managed to live this fight. Okay, awesome. Okay, that was uh, pretty horrendous because we got to freaking throw away Zigzagoon now. Okay, so we gotta throw Zigzagoon away in the box of shame. Uh, 
Okay, so he's dead, dead. How about they get it? Okay, we're gonna save here. And we're gonna call it a day.